Some jobs are inherently more dangerous than others. If an employee engaged in a dangerous job suffers an injury, then the employee might sue his or her employer for negligence. In such a suit, does it matter whether the employer's practices conform with industry standards? In Titus v. Bradford B&K Railroad Company, we explore how customary industry practices impact an employer's negligence liability. The Bradford B&K Railroad Company operated a narrow-gauge railroad connected to several standard-gauge railroads. Bradford regularly transported standard-gauge freight cars by removing them from their standard-gauge trucks and placing them on narrow-gauge trucks. One type of car that Bradford frequently transported, Nippano cars, had partially oval bolsters on the bottom, rather than flat bolsters. Because Bradford's trucks were designed to carry cars with flat bolsters, the bolsters of the Nippano cars had to be secured with wooden blocks and telegraph wire to prevent the cars from rocking on curves. James Titus, a miner, was working for Bradford as a brakeman on a train with a Nippano car when the telegraph wire securing the bolster became loose. The car tipped over as the train rounded a curve, and James, who'd been sitting on top of the car, fell to the track and was run over. James died. James's mother, Mary Titus, sued Bradford for damages, alleging that Bradford was negligent in transporting standard-gauge cars on narrow-gauge trucks and in transporting Nippano cars on trucks designed for cars with flat bolsters. Bradford responded that its conduct wasn't negligent because it conformed with customary industry practices. Evidence at trial showed that narrow-gauge railroad companies regularly transported standard-gauge cars on narrow-gauge trucks and that Bradford regularly transported Nippano cars without incident. The trial court jury found Bradford negligent and awarded damages. Bradford appealed to the Pennsylvania Supreme Court. 